In this short tutorial, we're going to show you how to quickly monitor your daily flight duty period for FAR 117 regulations. By selecting to display this feature, you can quickly see your daily max duty, duty remaining, and most importantly, when your next scheduled flight must depart by. Let's start by setting up your logbook to use this feature. If you're not already seeing the FAR 117 duty monitor feature in Log10 Pro, tap More, then Settings, then display options and turn show FAR 117 limits on. The feature will now be visible in the plan tab. Now, since FAR 117 rules are based on flight duty periods, FDP, if you're not already logging FDP, we'll head to the logbook tab to turn on the fields we need in the duty section. Tap on any flight, then on the action button in the top right. Then configure fields, scroll down to the duty section and tap configure section. Then, we'll make sure that these following fields are enabled and visible. FDP End, FDP Start, Off Duty, On Duty, and Total Duty. While the FAR 117 feature only uses FDP Start and End, these other three are useful for ensuring you're within other duty limits you may want to track. For augmented crews, we'll also need to ensure the crew member fields we need are active. So in the Crew section, we'll make sure that PIC SIC, Relief Crew, and Relief Crew 2, 3, and 4 fields are on. These must be filled in for Log10 Pro to determine if augmented operation rules are required for three or more logged crew. Finally, we'll add the home base field, which Log10 Pro uses to determine the acclimated time zone. You can turn on home base in the Places tab. Tap More, then Places, then tap on your home base airport. Tap the Action button, then configure fields, then configure section, and add the home base field. Then go back and turn home base on for the airport. And don't worry, if you forget to do this, the duty monitor feature will ask you. The importance of setting a home base is illustrated in the following example. You can see that our FTP starts in KJFK at 0630. However, the home base in this logbook is set to KLAX. That would make the acclimated time zone start time 0330. Using our augmented table, you can see that for a two segment day, this would change the max FDP from 13 hours using KJFK to nine hours using KLAX. Now we just need to fill in our FDP times and crew members and Log10 Pro will do the rest. Ensuring to account for our acclimated time zone and if you're flying an unaugmented or augmented flight. Log10 Pro will even account for Rest Facility class, which will display when you've entered a crew of three or more. Just tap on the Rest Facilities link in the FAR 117 Duty Monitor section of the Plan tab, and you can quickly add the facility class. Of course, if you have any questions about the FAR 117 Duty Monitor feature, or indeed anything else in Log10 Pro, please leave us a comment. Or contact our fantastic support team, direct from Log10 Pro by tapping More, then help, then contact support. For more Log10 Pro tips and tutorials, subscribe to the Cordine Aviation channel or click another video to keep watching now.